This one is called the twisted genie. No inverting required, however you feel most comfortable getting into your genie, whether that's dropping down or inverting up, but you definitely should feel comfortable in a traditional genie before going to this one. This one also requires pretty significant amount of shoulder and hamstring or adductor flexibility. Okay, so before trying this one out on the pole to kind of check and see where you're at on your shoulder and leg flexibility, definitely make sure you warm up your shoulders for this one, okay, because like I said, it is an overhead grab. Test out and see how you feel with that bendiness to make sure, like I said, that you have the flexibility because when we are going for the foot grab, we're holding on by one hand. That's not the time you want to figure out whether you're that flexible or not. You want to sort that out down here, okay? So to sort it out, you can sit in a full straddle or just a halfsy. Whichever is your bottom leg on your genie, that's going to be the leg that you're going to be grabbing, okay? So if my left leg is high, my right leg is low, which means I'm going to be reaching with my left arm, okay? So it's going to be opposite arm to leg. So if you have to sort out which is your more flexible side, this is the time to do it. And then you figure out which side genie you want to go into, okay? So to test and make sure that you have the flexibility with this with the shoulder is you want to be able to overhead reach and grab this leg, okay? Um, with the way we're going to go into it here is you actually can grab with it bent and then pull into it. So this can be the test sitting up or the down on the ground, whichever. You just want to be able to grab and have it over there. Not to say that there can't be variations. Maybe you get to here and you go here and it doesn't go overhead and that's your variation. It's still a twisted genie, okay? So do you, boo. So for this, for starting out to our genie, as I said, that is your solid prerequisite. Before getting into this one, genie and able to grab that foot. You can be on spin, you can be on static. It doesn't matter which direction you spin. You can spin forward, you can spin back, whichever, okay? So we're gonna get into our genie to start, however you want to get into it, okay? My bottom hand is going to reach up and grab, okay? I wanna have a couple of inches. Don't put it right at your leg because then you'll find your arm is gonna run into your leg. You don't want it too high either because that's gonna take away from this flexibility to reach with that arm. So just put it maybe a couple of inches below that knee, okay? From there, my arm that was the top one, same as my top leg, is going to grab the bottom leg. So let's take that with some spin so you can see. So we've got opposite arm grabbing with a little bit of space. Now, when we get to grabbing that bottom leg, there's gonna be variations of it, okay? So whether you grab with the leg straight, whether you drop your head to grab your leg, whether you bring your leg up to your head to grab it, you're gonna figure out what works best for you. But before you go for any grabs, you wanna make that first part feels okay, that your knee pit on that top leg is solid, and it's not just your knee, it's as much of your thigh as possible. So you wanna try and have your genie as wide as possible for you, okay? It's not a flexibility thing, it's a tension so that you have it actually pressing into your thigh and you wanna make sure you feel solid with that hand grip because once we go into that overhead, this hand grip is kind of your lifeline, okay? I mean, yes, this knee is definitely helping you, but if your knee feels a little bit like, okay, not quite 100%, but your hand is 100%, you'll be fine, okay? So now let's take those parts and add on that grab because you know you already checked out on the ground, you know you're good with it right? So to our genie opposite hand grabs, I'm going to bring my other knee up, grab thumb towards my face and open, turning my chest towards the ceiling to come out, release that leg. You can go back to your genie. You can go to a martini. You can go wherever you want to go with your day to come out of it. So Twisted genie, comfortable with the genie, comfortable with the foot grab. When I go to grab with that bottom leg, you can see initially I grab a cross body and then I roll. That's a personal preference though, depending on how you feel most comfortable doing it, okay? So I'm gonna go through it one more time. Starting with that genie, bottom hand reaches up. I like to bring my top knee up, grab my thumb towards my face and roll chest out, okay? And you can see my bottom butt cheek leg right here is still on the pole when I'm doing that foot grab. So it does give me a little additional point of contact. It's not like it's just that top knee and that top leg. You have a little bit of that like 
top butt cheek, or I'm sorry, I should say bottom butt cheek, top of your hamstring on it. Okay? So, <sighs> twisted genie, try it on spin, try it on static, work with it where you're most comfortable. Okay? If you're not quite there with that shoulder grab, keep working on that shoulder flexibility. Shoulder flexibility does not magically appear. Most of us have had to work at it to get it to that point. Okay? My shoulders did not start out in pull, able to do grabs like that. Many years of lots of exercise. So make sure you sufficiently warm up your shoulders before you go into that. And then also making sure that you're cool them down after that as well. So have fun with it. Put it together in a combo with some of your fave pieces. Put it in a photo shoot. Also a great move for that one. And show off all your bendy badassness.